Peabody. Sherman got into a fight today. If the girl's parents press charges, I will see to it Sherman is removed from your custody permanently. Hi, it's Jenya for the fan carpet at the gala of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Later, I'll be interviewing Peter Andre, whose song is featured in the movie, and also Lila Birch, who plays the Wayback Machine. But now we are going to go and see the film, so I'm very excited. Where did the inspiration for um, the song Kids come from? Just from my kids, that's exactly where it came from. Well, from Junior especially, because in the, in the verse it says, you know, you're the smallest and the greatest thing I ever knew, but at this stage you act twice my age and tell me what to do, and that is exactly what it's like. Yeah. They know everything, I know nothing. So I thought I'd write a song about it, and we did. For it. I actually thought it was a TV show and it was only when my agent said, okay, so you've been chosen for this, um, you need to go along to DreamWorks. I went, DreamWorks? That's amazing. So I was, I'm so happy to be involved in this movie. This is an iconic American cartoon that has now been turned into a film and it's, it's a dream come true. There's a guy called Steve Appleton, he's an incredible songwriter and he plays all these instruments and he's a blues and soul yeah. uh, writer. And so when, when we spoke about doing this song, we said, why don't we add something different? A lot of people are adding horns and all that, so, you know, people love real music. But why don't we get some old-fashioned rock and roll in it? And we, and we came up with this and it was great. Great fun to do. I've done quite a few computer voices um, in my past. I did uh, Dead Space 2, I don't know if you know if you're a gamer or not, but I was the, um, the school computer all the way through, and I've actually done some computer programs as well. This, this one we did about three different ways. We did it a bit more kind of stern and a bit more happy, so I'm really looking forward to which one they've chosen. I can't wait. I have no idea, I don't even think I can beat it now. I might think, you know, oh, is Valentine's Day going to be an anti-climax? I've got to, I've got to get thinking. And it's February the 1st today. Yeah. I haven't even, I haven't even thought, I, no, of course I've thought about it. I've been planning it for years. <laughs> I have no idea. Thank no you. idea. See, with only new challenges. I think the thing about being the Wayback Machine is once I'd researched it and I knew what, how it never had a voice before and how I was the original voice, that was just so exciting for me to, to find that rather than recreating something that had been done before. Um, to find that and to be the original voice of the Wayback Machine, is, it's just such an honour. Who's your strongest inspiration singer? Elvis. Thank you very much. No, I do. I loved Michael Jackson. I loved all the Motown stars, but Elvis. I mean, come on, he's these. Yeah, I sort of went. For it. I've still got hair. I'm very lucky at 40. <laughs> My agent in America sent through the audition to me, and that day I was working on a, on a video game actually, so I didn't have time to go into the office, so I had to record it all on my own computer at home. And I sent it off, and I was like, Oh, I, I thought it was a TV show, a, an episode for a TV show. I had no idea it was going to be a, a huge movie like this. So when I found out about it, I obviously was jumping around the house thinking, This is so amazing. So to be involved in a movie like this, especially a lot of my friends have kids and they're all going to take their kids, and like, Auntie Layla is going to be. It's just fantastic. The theme is time travel. If you could travel anywhere in time, where would it be and when? I have to say, I, if I could go anywhere, I'd go and do Britain's Got Talent again. Just because it's one of those experiences where you're so nervous that you don't enjoy it as much as you want to. So if I could, I'd go back and do all of that again. I love The Lion King, I've sung songs from The Lion King many times in Panto, etc. Um, and I think it's it's an amazing, iconic movie that has now gone through being in, on Broadway in the West End. Um, it's given so many children and adults so much, um, a, you know, such a great experience of the theatre and of um, the film. Um, but I would say The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, and I love Frozen as well. What would you love to do next, like if you had any choice? Um, God, I don't know. Anything. I like, you know, I like TV. I think I do like TV, and um, I'd like to do more stuff in TV. If people want to see me, then I'll do it. And as long as people don't, then I'll go. When they don't want to see me, I'm auditioning quite a lot at the moment. I'm writing pilot. Uh, I'm actually working on a web series right now called Girlfriend Versus, which is all about retro gaming because I'm really, really new to all of that. So it's introducing me to retro gaming for the first time. We've just filmed the first two episodes. I had a go at Mario Brothers. It was really hard to get falling down holes, but it was it was great. So I can't wait. That should come out in the next couple of weeks. Girlfriend versus Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Mr. Peabody. Hang on, Sherman.